Okay, I wanna show you just a couple more examples. So in this case, here's another right triangle. Um, I've moved the angle measure. You know, we've done a couple problems where the angle's been down in this corner. We moved one up here now. Same concept applies. All right, so we want to find this side length down here that's represented by the X. We need to identify what side lengths did they give us. All right, so they gave us the side that's opposite our right angle, which, as you remember, this is our hypotenuse. So if you want to identify that. Now, again, we go back to the angle measure that they gave us, which was this angle up here, and they gave us the side length that is opposite that angle. So this is our opposite side. When we look back at our trig ratios, we see that sine deals with opposite over hypotenuse. So we're gonna use sine to find our missing side length. So sine of, which angle measure did they give us? They gave us 21 equals opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so now we just solve our equation. Again, we multiply by our denominator, so we're gonna multiply by 22, eliminates it over on the right-hand side. What you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So we end up with 22 times the sine of 21 equals x. Here's where we grab our ever handy dandy calculator. Again, if you remember, make sure when you're getting a calculator for the first time, you go into mode and change it to from radians to degree. Make sure degree is highlighted. I always double check that. Okay, so now let's type it in. We're gonna type in 22 parentheses sine of 21 close both sets of parentheses, press enter, you get 7.88. Which means this side length here is 